Hey folks, AshleyAllThingsDentistry.com. Uh, you can also check out Dentistry Learning Network. Uh, that's a forum I started just to s try to get folks uh, commenting and had some really good response uh, to the uh, blog and I appreciate that. So today what I want to talk about in, well, four minutes or less are basics of OrthoWire. Now the basic um, idea is that we're going to be using a straight wire appliance. So you take any number of um, these straight wires so we're not placing, and initially we're not placing any types of crazy bends uh, like they used to. And like one of our mentors, uh, my workout buddy, Dr. No Rep, said if it wasn't for straight wire appliance by uh, Dr. Andrews, uh, he would be doing ortho. So we're, there's some of the, an idea of kind of the wires. And it's just, and it's fairly confusing. And it took me until my senior year to kind of figure out uh, the different types of wires. We're in ortho uh, one time a half day a month. So, so the straight wire appliance. I mean, everyone has a pretty good idea that we've been working with sort of a square bracket. In this case, you can probably get other designs, and this is sort of a cross section of it. And here it is. Here, here's uh, what you would deliver. Put your little brackets on, and there's the bracket there. And We'll show an image of the cross section. So it's essentially a rectangular, different sizes. We'll get into the weeds. And now, so we'll start with, uh, you've got stainless steel wires typically, you've got NITI and you've got TMA. There are many different other variations, but these are the, the main bulk. So um, let's talk about uh, stainless steel. That's a classic. You can get either round, so it'll be round and you won't be able to engage any of the um, what they call the prescription or sort of the angulation um, that's already put into the bracket. It'll just be purely sliding around, kind of like loosey-goosey. And you can also get square stainless steel wires. So here's an example of a 16 by 22 uh, square. I don't have any uh, round wires that I scored from the clinic and you can I'll show, we'll put up some photos. And essentially you take the cross section of this um, this is a really nice smooth sliding wire. So stainless steel is great for moving teeth. You can move teeth with anything you want or slide them, uh, but stainless steel is like the glass. So keep that in mind. Okay, next one. Let's talk about NITI. Everyone knows about NITI. They're different sizes. You can get, again, round wire. You can get square. Uh, here we have uh, 2020 uh, NITI. Everyone, I mean, you should, if you're at this video, you should know that you can get some pretty crazy bends and it just goes back to normal shape. But one of the things you might not have known of is this really cool one. This one's called a heat activated. So check this out. This is when it's cold. So you say you, you put this in the patient's mouth. This is a uh, 016 sort of level lying. Uh, say the first after the first couple appointments or what every case is different put this in the patient's mouth and got some crazy uh, move any teeth that you need to start getting a level in line put it in their mouth and get them to eat ice now look at this you can put this thing in any kind of crazy shape or form cool it down get it into the place that you want and then once it once it gets back to room temperature or body temperature let me heat it up it'll go back to its original shape so what you do is you get the patient to, once you put this in their mouth, you get the patient to um, eat ice. Or you can have these ice activators, whatever. So let's see right here. Get them to eat ice, not eat ice, but drink something really cold. And it'll turn into this loose spaghetti. I mean, this is crazy. I've never seen a material do this in my life. So it's like loose spaghetti kind of thing. And as it warms up, it'll go back into the, the shape. So you're resetting the wire, so you're reapplying those forces. That's pretty cool. Well, you can see moving back there. That's not a magic trick either, like, I don't know magic. Okay, so that's ni nickel titanium, high tie. And the last one is TMA. So TMA is similar to a, uh, a night tie, but it can be bent, just like stainless steel. So we say it's more like a finishing wire, and it's difficult to slide things on. So you can you see how it kind of goes back to its original shape, but you can't actually put a bend in it if I had right pliers. So one of the things about TMA is that it's very difficult under the microscope to move. And you remember when I had the stainless steel wire, it was moving nice and smooth. Listen to the difference. It 
doesn't move, so let's find that stainless steel. And this was a big thing for me to learn. It was just what sliding mechanics, what wire. So here's a stainless steel wire. This is like a violin. It's amazing. Just take that. And this is a TMA wire. See how rough the difference is? And then we'll take a eye tie, 20 by 20. Okay, I'm just at five minutes and 30 seconds, so the last one. And again, I'm just showing this because it's important to know that when you're starting orthodontics, some of the sliding mechanics, one of the wires that you want to start moving teeth when you start actually. So this one, again, it's it's not as abrasive, if you may, but it still catches. It's not smooth as the end. The stainless steel so that gives you an idea of the three different types of wires it's big there are different many different kinds but these are the big ones so anyways hope that helps cheers